Hey everyone, welcome back to Prison Architect and today we are going to look deeper into this and see what where we can build another extension because this is getting a little bit full, like a little bit filled up. It has been since since like it has been for a while, but uh think we can now afford do we want this area down here? What what would we use it for? Let's see. Uh what kind of room what kind of rooms could we build down here? A big parole room. That would also be quite nice here, but then again I want to extend my workshop here. Also, can somebody teach me how to use roads effectively so that cars actu actually drive on them? As like predominantly the trucks, but Um, what else is there? We could use... I, I don't think we need a storage room. Um, holding cell is big enough, I think. If we really need one, we can just put some some stuff in there so that we can hold more prisoners in there. But then again, I'm only taking so many prisoners uh, as I can take. Like, as I have the capacity for. Um, you only have one shower, but this one should still be alright. I think. Give me a second. Do we have shower heads on this side? Oh. Forgot to turn the speed up. Why are these guys so slow? We do not have shower heads on this this wall yet. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Do we have the pipes running down here? Yes we do. So let's just put the shower heads in. So now we have a space for like another 25 prisoners or something like that in the shower. And that's, that's something. And it makes it so our workmen actually have something to do. <laughs> the security room could use... Like we could use another security room I think. Maybe. That's to be, that's to be in the scene though. Um, like we, it, it's been working so far, and we still have the same amount of prisoners in our prison and the same amount of CCTV cameras. So, for now, it should be fine. Chapel is that what was it? Actually, it, it probably is because because of this. Yeah. A hundred and ninety-five prisoners have finished this already. Damn. A hundred and eleven finished this. Twenty-seven have passed. That's very nice. Uh, nine are interested in qualified. Now here, we're getting into the territory where it might actually be worth doing the carpentry apprenticeship now. We have how many 12 carpenters tables? Tell you what, if we, uh, once we reach 12 interested and qualified prisoners for this uh, program, I think we'll do this instead. A chair. Do we have we put some chairs in here? Not yet. This is not. It, nobody's doing the behavioral therapy either. <laughs> That's pretty sad, actually. <laughs> Six 
to 10 a.m. Each person requires a visitor table. Uh, we have five, so we we could do five at once. But wait, it's six to ten a.m. Is that because of my regime? If it if it isn't, then I should definitely have them a shower and eat earlier. Like go to bed earlier, and then move this up as well because if if you have the choice of either going to the parole hearing or have a shower and eat what would you pick if you were a prisoner <laughs> i'd probably i i can see why not really that many prisoners are actually doing the parole hearing i'd rather have a shower and some food as well personally i don't know about you um that's I, I can understand <laughs> wait what they killed an officer they killed a guard what's going on okay Of course, daily cash flow went down immediately from 7.4k to 6.9k because of the incident. We're gonna have to hire a new guard. Wait, that was a janitor? Please. I mean, it, it can't hurt to have another janitor, but again, I wanted the guard, so... Oh, cell phones, very dangerous stuff. <laughs> Tell you what, let's actually build this foundation here I know it's um, I know I said it would be for the workshop and it will but you know what first of all we're gonna do this then do wait where is it there it is then do this and then remove the fence like the outside one here There is that. Wait, why did our daily cash flow just go up again? Did we release a prisoner? 58 prisoners up for parole. You know what? Hmm. 
think it would be a good idea to have a big parole room down here. Maybe? Put a staff door in here. You know what, they can have a, a storage room down here. Do we have power in here? No, we do not. Alrighty. We will soon. Of course we're gonna demolish this wall. And then build a wall here, but not yet. I want them to install the cables yet. Or first, I should say. Please. I mean, they've already installed them at, at this spot, so, you know, might as well. Come on, I have 15 workmen. Why isn't this going faster? Here we'll have a storage room. Which I don't think we really need, but let's give it a shot. And then, um, uh, where is the workshop icon? There it is. There's gonna be a workshop. So, what do they need for the for the current program for the workshop saw? And for this, they need a carpenter table. Do they not need any sort of... Do they not need the workshop press for anything? Really? I thought they did. It would make sense that they would require it for, say, a license plate. Uh, 
Ok. You know what? We only have six workshop saws currently. So that means only six prisoners can currently uh, do the um, do the uh, workshop safety induction at the same time. It's kind of bad. It could be much better. Oh, they require power, obviously. So let us solve that problem. Wait, what? What just happened? Why? Why did I lose so much money all at once? Um, wait. Let's just wait a couple of hours. We'll be fine. Like this, I think. Just this one more piece, please. There we go. Huh, so... It's 10 p.m. We can... We can, uh... Take two more prisoners in. Now what do I have dog patrols yet? We get one here, we get one here. I want the third one though. I want it on the outside. Like basically here. <laughs> because it can smell the tunnels. Or detect them at least. And that's good. So making 7,700 per day. Federal grant, prisoner grant, guard wages, administrative wages. Days without incident, 720 for one and a half days. Okay. So it's like 600,000 worth right now. It's fine. 600,000 person is not too bad, but could be much better, obviously. What else is there to do right now? Like we don't have the money to do very much. That is the problem. So we are we're gonna just have to wait, I guess. But hopefully, the extra workshop uh, workshop sauce will make 
more prisoners take part in the workshop safety induction, which would allow us to produce more um, there were more license plates, and that would give us a little bit more money. So it's 33 have passed, 10 are interested and qualified, 20 in queue. That might also not be the worst idea. This is repeatable, so if you fail once, you can try again. What What if you pass once and you want to do it again? Just 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 for just for the heck of it. I I, I don't I don't think that's something that prisoners would do but you know just for then again I, I could imagine maybe they prefer um, going to a chapel uh, as opposed to you know going to a workshop because <laughs> it's easier it's not as it's not as hard uh, it's not as hard of a work why are so many guards in the in the security room And all the janitors are outside. No, actually, no. They're they're doing work. So many guards in here. You know what I'm think? Uh, I think I'm gonna get myself a couple more dogs, dog handlers at least. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's put one right there, and like two here. This guy costs 500. And why, why did I do this? I want one more. Um, one more dog handler outside here somewhere. Maybe not right there though. Maybe rather like there. Because over here there's no real way of getting out like there's no cells in this area at all, other than the holding cells. But uh, there, here are so many cells where they could just dig out of, which is why I got one here and one here. I should have a third one down there as well, I think, maybe. Let's take in a third one. I wish uh, politics would work this way with the refugees. Like we, we got space for three more, so so it's taken three more and not more than that. Uh, that 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 was. I apologize. That was just a joke, and please don't take this seriously. And please do not actually take this as a political statement. I do not want to talk about politics here. <laughs> So, another little bit of money for the prisoner intake, cash flow went up just a little bit again. Wait, 0, 0.0 days without the incident? What happened? Nothing? What? Why? Oh, because the, the previous day... Like yesterday, the, uh, there was an incident, and it comes from the previous day, it seems. And before that, we had one and a half days without incident. Maybe that's how that works? We 
There's still a third of 15 guards available. Oh, six arm guards and six dog handlers. Yeah, that's the total though, but uh, of the regular guards we got uh, we got less and less available. That's fine, they're always they're all doing some sort of work. Which is good. Why is danger level going up? What do they need? Oh. Hygiene, yeah, it's just about shower time, so you know. Environment is fine apparently. Privacy is also fine. Freedom is Kind of fine. Wait, one death? Really? <sighs> okay. Oh, these guys. One, one of you is gonna be the murderer, I guess. Store prisoner in hers, okay. So it's already there. Why is nobody using the library? Wait, is there a, a program they can do in the library? Uh, no, no, no. No, okay. Only six? are now interested and qualified in the carpentry apprenticeship? I thought there were 10. Maybe they just got released or something? Oh, you are not getting out of here. <laughs> Good. There's a lot of blood here. There has been a fight, apparently. So what else is going on? Did anybody else finish the... F uh, this? Yeah. Two more. That's pretty nice. And... What does this mean for... Only three of them are interested and qualified for that? 233 have finished the spiritual guidance. Damn, like that's... That's making progress like crazy. I don't know what they get out of that, but... And instill a sense of calm amongst the prisoners. Eh, maybe not. Because this is the second... The second death today already. And that's bad. That doesn't really speak for, you know, a calm mind or something like that. So, what did we achieve this this episode? We made our workshop bigger and we now have a storage room which is full of, well not full, but you get the idea, which, which has some, some stuff in it, some bricks, some crates, everything. Well, not literally everything. But yeah, so...
The library is apparently still not being used. Neither is the mailroom. I don't, I don't get it. Clothing is fine. Environment is fine. Privacy is fine. Food is totally fine. Safety is good. Yeah, overall this prison is not looking too bad. But what I'm worried about is a bunch of prisoners grouping together here and like 20 of them digging out one tunnel in like a couple of hours and escaping that would be really terrible but for now I think I think we're good for now looks like it at least I can take five more so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.